Anthony, a draw at Gateshead. We'd have probably took it before the game, but the way the, the match sort of, um, the course of events happened, a bit disappointed with that, I guess. I think so, yeah. I think you're right. Before the game, we'd have taken a point. It's a tough place to come. But after just playing 90 minutes, yeah, we were quite deflated in the change room. This is a difficult place to come at the best of times, and they were on a good run of form. You know, other than one sort of a blip result against Grimsby, they've pretty much been sweeping all before them at home. Yep. But uh, we gave a pretty good account of ourselves today, didn't we? Yeah, they're a good team. The lads know they're a good team. They like to pass the ball. Um, I think first half, there wasn't much in it. I don't think either team really created much. Um, I think second half, we had some really, really good situations that we got in a couple of 2v1s. And some good opportunities. Um, you know, they didn't have a lot. You know, it's a few blocks, but I don't think they had any clear-cut chances apart from the goal. So. I think to not keep a clean sheet, you know, back-to-back -back clean sheets are a little bit disappointing. But um, yeah, on reflection, yeah, before the game we take point. I think what was really frustrating was that for large chunks of the second half, it looks like we were quite dealing with with being one nil up quite comfortably. And if anything, we were the side asking more questions. They, they weren't able to create many chances against us. Um, I'm not sure where you were positioned for the goal. How do you recollect the equaliser? Uh, the equaliser seemed to be a long ball forward. I think went into ranks. So as a four, we narrowed up um, just so they couldn't, you know, slide it between us, fullbacks, centre halves. It went wide. Um, I think went to. Rogers who used to be here um, and I remember just being chipped into the middle um, you know the two big centre forwards I think he's just got his arm across someone and just headed it in so it's a bit disappointing um, that it maybe came from quite far and Ranks was able to control it um, but you know when you've got two big guys like that and you get balls in the box it is difficult and uh, the side looked fresh today it looked energetic and you really did work together for the cause um, can you, can you just give us a, a little bit of an insight into what the approach to the game was today in terms of the game plan? The game plan? Um, just the same game plan as usual, you know, keep it tight and be organised. Um, I think since we had that poor, you know, we had an indifferent probably first off against Nuneaton um, and then we were disappointing against Braintree um, and I think the lads have taken it on board and realised, you know, we can't start like that. We need to be on it every game. Um, I think since that game, I think, you know, we've started by first half and second half today and against Lincoln um, a lot better. Um, I think, you know, that mentality that, you know, we have started the season OK, um, but that was a little bit of a blip against Braintree. Um, and I think since then, the lads have just taken stock a little bit and realised that, you know, you've got to be on it from the start, both halves. Um, and I think we've seen that in the last two games. It'll be no different on Tuesday. You know, it's another tough game. All games are tough in this league for different reasons. Um, you know, you've got to have that mentality to start right and just be ready for the game taking us nicely on there to Tuesday but just to reflect for a moment on on your own situation this season I mean we were just having a chat off camera and indeed you know the games are coming thick and fast you've probably played you know more already in this little passage of games than, than you did last season yeah yeah it's nice to be playing um, I've been a bit of a, you know, a, bit of a patchy pre-season um, I, I was injured a little bit um, so my fitness wasn't great um, but you know I've had a good run of games now so I feel like you know my fitness is pretty good um, I feel a lot stronger and fitter um, yeah, and like we said, you know, it's good. While the pitches are good, you know, the pitch is really good today to get these games in, so that we don't have the backlog that we had last season. You know, because if we do well in the trophy again, we don't want to be playing. You know, potentially Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So yeah, it's, it, I, I think while it's nice as well, it's good to get your games in. And whilst I'm sure you personally and indeed all the Shut Town Football Club would love to be back in the Football League again, it is so contrasting this Conference League, isn't it? You know, you could be at a very, very small part-time club one minute, like Nuneaton. Then you're at a big stadium and you know an international stadium, perhaps such as Wrexham, and then another international stadium here, albeit an athletics one. What's it like to play on an on you know in an athletic stadium rather than a pitch in terms of the atmosphere, etc.? Uh, I think the atmosphere is different, but I think the, the plus side here is the pitch is very good. And obviously, you know we, we do try and pass the ball, um, so I think that makes up for it. I think if the pitch was you know not great, then yeah, you know it, it, it makes it tough, ment mentally tougher. Um, but you just have to adapt. You know, it's the same for both teams. Um, you know, ideally, like you said, you know everyone wants to play in the football league. Um, but you know, you are you, you where you are where you are, mm. um, and you just have to be mentally right for the games. You know, it, it is mad. Like yeah, you come to a place like this where the pitch is amazing, and another week you go to Braintree where the pitch isn't so good. Mm. Um, yeah, then you go to Re yeah, it's, yeah, it is up and down. So you know, but that's part of football. Um, I think you just have to yeah. embrace it and enjoy it. I'm thinking ahead to Tuesday. Um, 
talk to me a little bit about the kind of recovery between now and Tuesday because one thing that was abundantly clear to me today was the energy levels within the side but you know it's been a long trip a hard game another long trip back and we need to be at the races again on Tuesday so how will the next couple of days be for you guys? For us guys it'll be minimal um, obviously it's a long trip back to the night I think it's six hours for some of us to get back eight hours for the Portsmouth guys mm. um, so tomorrow will just be a, a rest day um, you'll probably just try and do a walk just get your legs moving and I'll probably take my dogs out um, and that'll be me and then on Monday um, it'll just be a light recovery session just doing preparation for the game on Tuesday and then Tuesday you probably just get yourself out for a walk again just to get your legs going um, just you know plenty of carbs plenty of fluids get your body right recover and uh, that's it really you can't really do much really playing Saturday, Tuesday Saturday, Tuesday sort of the games take care of themselves um, so you, you know your responsibility is just to recover as best you can well, congratulations on, on, on both individually and collectively. A, a strong team performance today and a point thoroughly well deserved. And we'll see you again on yeah, it's great. Dover on Tuesday. Thank you. Cheers, Cheers. Anthony. No worries. Thanks, mate.